people think about memory, they think that they experience some event and the memory for that event gets tucked all of a piece into some little cubby hole in their brain. And then when they try to remember that, they dig around through all the cubby holes in their brain. And eventually you find this entire memory and pull it out and you can sort of re-experience it like you plugged a videotape into the VCR. And really what happens is more complicated. Our memories are constructed from bits and pieces of the past. That's how two people can end up with somewhat different recollections of the same event. I'm Paige Smith. I had an experience with my brother when I was about 11 years old. It's one of my better getting hurt stories. I'm Mike Smith. My sister has memories of, of things we did in the past. Now we're going to see if my memories are anywhere close to what she remembers. My brother was about 13. I was probably around 11. I was 13, and Paige would have been 10. It was mid to late afternoon, um, summer, end of summer, August, very hot. I think the accident happened in the summer, but it was definitely kind of in the middle of the day, hot and sunny day. My brother had a go-kart that my father had made for him with this little tiny engine on the back and a pole for a steering wheel that attached to the two wheels. We were in our neighborhood um, riding what I think was a scooter. And we were driving down my neighborhood street. I had Paige on the back. And I'm sitting on that little steering wheel pole. We were headed down to a friend of mine's house. And we are on the wrong side of the street. And I was following a friend of mine who also had a, a small motorcycle. And a car starts coming down the street towards us. And I kind of say, Watch it. He stopped short. Mike ends up swerving. Both Paige and I went tumbling down the street. It throws me in front of the go-kart and pushes me. I don't think she would have been screaming and crying. All I remember is screaming. Paige ended up with probably some knee scrapes, road rash. Looked worse than it was. I was completely cut up on my wrist and on my knees, bleeding. I knew I was going to be in trouble. My brother, you know, gets off the go-kart and rushes to me and immediately says, don't tell mom and dad. You know, I'll fix it. I'll figure out what to do. Don't don't say anything. I was in a lot of pain. I think he probably looked me over and like, doesn't look that bad. You know, we'll get away with this. Paige was alive. That was apparent. So I figured I could just leave her and deal with that later. That's pretty much what happened. There are different parts of your brain that process visual information, auditory information, and emotional information. And so what you're experiencing now is the combination of separate clumps of neurons firing together. How are the different parts of a memory connected in the brain? A structure called the hippocampus may help tie them together. You can think of all of these uh, distributed blobs of neurons as different balloons that are floating around. You can think of what the hippocampus does as taking the strings of these balloons and tying them all together in a knot. You just have to sort of tug on that knot. And all the appropriate balloons dip down and you're effectively dealing with the memory that you'd experienced at some point in the past. But this gets a little more complicated. Trying to remember a particular instance where I told Paige to tell something that was a lie to my parents is kind of difficult because at that period of my life, I was probably doing that quite a bit. Every time I got some kind of motorized vehicle, I flipped it over. He probably has too many moving vehicle stories to remember which one I'm involved with. But I could be wrong. What this incident with Paige and Mike shows us is that memory is a constructive process. We start out with a general idea of what it is we're looking for, and we use this to kind of dredge around in memory to try to elicit from our hippocampus little fragments, and then using this general sense of what happened. There was a go-kart incident, and Paige fell off. We just glue these little fragments into place, and there's room for error to creep in. You get the sense with Mike that he's been in lots of motor vehicle accidents, and what happens when you have lots of similar episodes stored in memory? You end up remembering what all of these episodes have in common, but you have very poor memory for the details of any one particular episode, and that leaves you with a lot of gaps. 